Is yes, it? I mean, I came across Madeleine Goutard's research work um, and practice, which in its theory seemed to answer everything I wanted. She seemed to be, she was a very child-centred teacher, and the children were working in that way. They had real ownership, they mm. had real power over mm. what they were doing. But at the same time, I was quite struck at the level of rigour of her teaching and the incredibly high level the children were working at. So the two things came together for me. Um, this was the piece of writing that particularly struck me. Um, when I first looked at it, it just looked interesting and fascinating and just quite beautiful. And I'd never felt that when I'd looked at maths before. Mm. And I think I was struck by, I wonder what it felt to actually create something like that for the child. That must have been a really exciting experience for the child to write something like that. Mm. Was there also a sense in your mind as a teacher thinking, I couldn't get my children to do that, could I? Well, obviously, straight away, yes. I mean, it, it struck me as, as way beyond anything <clears> I could do. But the more I read about her, the more I thought six- and seven-year-old children haven't changed. She was doing this in the 60s, but children haven't changed. The only thing between my children and this kind of work is me. Mm. So the only thing that's got to change here is me. And that change has to happen up here.